Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another edition of TK's Guitar Tips. I'm with the esteemed luthier, guitar builder, guitar technician, Mr. TK, Mr. Tom Keckler. Hello. Hello. And this morning we're going to be talking about this uh, Taylor 12 string, which has uh, got a couple of issues here. And a thing that does affect acoustic guitars is a lifting bridge. And you can see it's beginning to lift off there. And there's been an attempted repair with a super glue, and the same for the uh, the pick guard. Uh, so maybe you could tell me about what? Why does a bridge begin to lift off on the acoustic? Uh, generally speaking, it has to do with heat. Uh, that's how you get the bridge off from mm -hmm. the old coming off sort of bridge. In other words, they don't hardly ever come off clean. Right. Uh, they don't just pop up, you know, and you put them on there. Yeah, usually under string tension, the back will start pulling off first. Yeah. And uh, and then it, unfortunately, it stops. <laughs> yes. And someone, a person that owns this instrument, uh, made the uh, royal mistake by trying to uh, repair it themselves with super glue. Okay. <laughs> Right, right, right. So that you probably can't see it, but it's just oozing out. Yeah, yeah. There's there's some few lines there. So mm -hmm. so what would be the way to actually get around this? Do you need to use heat? Yes, then? yes. And you said super glue. Um, super glue is a is a is a good thing and it's a bad thing. Okay. Uh, it does not uh, mix well with other adhesives at all right uh once it's there it's there <laughs> if you've right. ever gotten any on your skin you know that yes indeed yeah so uh the hard part is going to be uh separating that bridge uh, obviously from the from the top of the guitar yeah and, and finding out exactly what effect uh the, the uh, super glue how how far the super glue penetrated the, the bridge underneath the, the flat part it's just going to yeah. make it that much harder but yeah. you got to be so very careful with the heat part of it because uh for obvious reasons the lacquer uh, on the guitar yeah. and you can uh, add just enough heat to uh, break the, the glue yeah. bond loose but you don't want to add too much heat to where you set the guitar on fire yeah and then obviously <laughs> the thickness of the top this is maybe what a spruce top mm -hmm. on this and mm -hmm. it's just like super Super thin. I mean, you can see where oh, the yeah. binding yeah, is. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just, you absolutely. Know. It, it, uh, it's going to be a hard hard job. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it happens a lot. Oh, uh, yeah. And I've seen it on acoustics where the uh, where the neck begins to lift off, you know, where the join. Well, at the, at the uh, heel. Of the, the heel of the yeah, guitar yeah. Against, against the body. Yeah. There. You but know, that so. happens, uh, you know. Fairly often, but nothing is compared to bridges pulling off. Right, right, right. Uh, that happens a lot. And, uh, and I said, if a person, you know, smart enough, when it starts happening, if they'll immediately take the string tension off and uh, take it to someone who knows what they're doing yeah. uh, and not shoot super glue under it, right. uh, then it becomes a much more doable job. Right. But this is not a doable job. Right. So but, you're actually going to be applying heat to this? Uh, uh, to, well, I'll, you know, it'll be disassembled. Uh, yeah. you know, I, haven't, I haven't gotten to this guitar yet, really. Yeah. So it's, that's why it's still got strings on it. Or, or sloppy, of course. Yeah. All this will be removed, the pins, the bridge insert. And so you'll just have just the uh, rosewood bridge uh, there right. uh, to work with. And because of this pit guard, uh, tortoise shell pit guard coming so close to the bottom of the bridge, mm -hmm. you have to be really careful not to set the, the pit guard on fire while you're, while you're trying to get ready. Oh, wow. it, it's going to be a tough job. Uh, yeah. It just is. But uh, that's what I do. Well, we're going to call you the Red Adair of guitar repairs. Okay. You're the man, the man who works with heat and flames, you know, to make it happen. <laughs> so, yeah, and, and that's the whole thing of guitar repair and luthiery. It's the combination of the um, the wood, the electronics, uh, you're using heat. Um, basically, temperature plays such a huge part you yeah, know, in aging yeah. a guitar, but also it can help you in terms of uh, fixing things as well, like the... Uh, like heating up glue, for example. So yeah, so this is interesting. So it'll be nice to see when this is done. 
Yeah, um, it will be nice. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yes. I can hardly wait. <laughs> there you go, so there you go. Well, that's, that's just some of the stuff that can actually happen to guitars. Um, and obviously, uh, if, you know, if it happens to you, call TK yeah. uh, here in yeah. Memphis, 901. Yeah. 489 TK's Guitar Services. Mm -hmm. And so once again, thanks so much for watching. And we'll be doing some more videos looking at various things that happen to guitars. Thank you so much for watching. And there will be doing some more videos looking at various things that happen to guitars and the, uh, the repairs and all that good stuff that needs to be done. So until next time, please like, and share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Absolutely. Bye-bye.